Okay, so I wanted to show you the difference between PHP and JavaScript. So I was talking to one developer and he was senior developer. So when we're talking about the uh, PHP in JavaScript, I said JavaScript is faster because it's non-blocking. So his um, argument was, but they're single thread. So he thinks that single threaded means they, they, they can do the same amount of action. So it, it's not, there's no difference. So I just want to show you the difference between PHP and, and JavaScript and what, what is exactly going behind the scene. So PHP, what, well, what PHP does is, uh, this is a sim simple code. There is a button that says open Google and it just goes to google.com and there is a timer that shows php time and uh, there is a for loop that that goes through 100 iterations and on each iteration it gets the uh, file content so it gets from uh, this file so it gets comments so it's just dummy dummy comments and it just pushes to the results array and then there is a micro time that uh, it doesn't even I don't even use it, but yeah. So I don't use this one. So the micro time, and I just show you the the execution time at the end. And there is JavaScript that uh, that I used for my previous example. I just updated, just moved the variable on top, so I'm not reusing the same number. But the thing is, when I when the JavaScript calls in it, uh, it iterates through the uh, 100 times and fetches uh, the same command. But because it uses browser, I'm just using this uh, query, so the there's no caching in browser. So I get response, then I add to to those list. And at the end, I just call the credentials. And credentials is called, because it's asynchronous, I just call credentials on each iteration. And this credentials checks whether the to-do's to length is smaller than 100. So if it's smaller, then means the for loop is not ended and just breaks this. But if everything is fine, then it says all done. So I'm not using here timer or anything because but Debugger has its own timer, so we can ch check it. Okay, uh, what we can do, we can just debugger here. Okay, so let's check the PHP. So I have here the PHP file, so I'm just copying this. And so this is, this is file get. And IntelliJ has its own uh, parameter here. I don't know why, why it uses this. Maybe it's for session. But I'm going to run it. So as you see the file that I have, um, it will 100 iterations will take approximately 20 seconds, 20, 22 seconds, because because it's uh, it's it's blocking on each iteration and you see the open Google, I cannot click it before everything is done. So the fa the website waited for 19 seconds to even show this page. And JavaScript, I'll ju I'm just remember. And the JavaScript is the same fetch loop and IntelliJ query. So I will click it and if you see, do I have, okay, I'll just run again. And so if you see, it takes, so I, it takes approximately, approximately three, sec, three seconds to get 100 iterations, the same file. So it takes three seconds versus 19 seconds. Yeah, and I can, if I, I'll refresh and I'll show you that I can click this even though it's not. So let's see how JavaScript responds. So I have three seconds to click, but 
as you see I can do that I can click that so this is the difference so PHP will block everything but there's a, a website called Lupe so it's latinflip.com Lupe so if you go it just explains how JavaScript works so there's a simple example that that has on button click event listener and then uh, there's a log that says hi and there's a timeout that just um, it will just simulate this um, Ajax call so it, it takes like five seconds and at the end it says welcome to Lupa so so if it was PHP it should stop here and then uh, after five seconds this should will will come according to what we saw here but in JavaScript it doesn't happen it just shows welcome to loop okay so to make it slower so we can understand what's going there is a delay of 750 milliseconds um, just so we can read what's going on so this is the click me button and what happens if I click if you see the on click is not blocking the call stack it's just going here to web web api and the timer is also on the right so what happens is javascript it just uses web api so as you see this a web api has a listener and call stack is not blocked so you can click again and it will do the same you see so so what's going on is this call stack when it just runs it it just says on button so it runs this um, this event listener and it just adds to the web api and as i said the web api is just listening and the timeout is also web api and it doesn't block this call stack so it just runs welcome and nothing is blocking like if we do we have okay let me try again so you see the timer is going but the log is gone so I'll just make it slower so we can read it so if you see the on button click came to call stack and it's added to web API and it doesn't care so it runs high then it the timer reads and the timer is in the web api and it just locks so if i do if i like copy like um oh i cannot copy it okay so yeah so, so the call stack that's why this um this is fast because this everything is done by web api and the call stack is is open so this is the the, one, the the reason why JavaScript is faster versus uh, PHP. So even though they are single threaded, JavaScript just sends to Web API, and Web API runs that. So when the Web Web API calls this timeout, timeout is added to the to the web API and the lock is gone, the call stack is empty as if the JavaScript is empty, but when the timeout is done, it's added to callback queue and the callback queue and the event loops, this popular JavaScript event loop, it just uh, gets this callback. It just checks every time it checks. Is there anything in the callback? If, and if there is anything in the, in the callback, it just adds, but there's one thing. If the call stack is busy, it wouldn't add to the callback queue. So, so sometimes if you have something blocking on your JavaScript and you start clicking on the link, you wouldn't see it immediately. But like it, like after a second or two, you will see a lot of this alert windows or something that you did starts responding. This is the reason. So when you click Web API, it just puts the callback so it's just stacked here and I guess this is the call the call callback hell so it just waits and 
blocks everything like here so even if I click it wouldn't respond it's just this call stack is busy so that's it so if you have any suggestion if you think differently just let me know me I might be wrong just write in comments